Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amita Singh and this is part 14 of Elastic Surge. So in the pre this is the continuation of my previous session. Uh, in the previous session, I was talking about analyzer. So guys, before proceeding to my session, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel. You can press the subscribe button. You can also press the bell icon to get the notification. Thank you. So let's proceed with today's session. In today's session, I'll be covering the rest of the analyzer which we used in Elasticsearch. So in the previous session, I have covered the standard analyzer, simple ana analyzer and white space analyzer. In today's session, I'll be covering the keyword analyzer, stop analyzer, pattern analyzer and custom analyzer. So I uh, hope you have aware, you are uh, aware about the configuration in analyzer, what uh, analyzer accepts. If you haven't watched my previous session, please go and watch. Then proceed with this, this session. So in the keyword analyzer, we do not have any configuration. Okay. And in stop analyzer, it has, it accepts two, uh, two parameter that is stop word and stop word path. In pattern, it, it also accept a uh, stop word and stop word path with the pattern and lower case. It accept these parameter as well. So the custom analyzer, this is something which we are going to use, uh, you know, every time you have to be like used to it to use this analyzer. Uh, this is the analyzer custom analyzer I have used in my index, which I have been, uh, you know, working on so long. So this is the custom analyzer and it accept tokenizer, character filter and uh, filter. So the configuration of the custom analyzer is these three. So let's proceed with uh, the keyword analyzer. So uh, not to waste your time, I've already written this uh, code for keyword analyzer. So by the name itself, it suggests like a keyword. It accepts everything as a keyword. So whatever I'm typing, you can you can see over here, analyzer is keyword. And this is the stream of the text or uh, this is the body of my uh, body of uh, the letter which I'm uh, the body of the stream of the content which I'm going to send to this analyzer what it will do the keyword uh, keyword analyzer will take this complete sentence as uh, one keyword so it will not break anything so that's how the keyword works now the next thing is uh, pattern pattern analyze, uh, analyzer uh, if you are aware about the regex pattern or pattern you have used in the Java and we use uh, patterns, right? Like I'll show you over here. We have some patterns like ABC, uh, the single character A, B or C, uh, this so small W, capital W, any non-word character uh, slash B, any uh, word boundary. So these are the defined um, pattern which we used in Elasticsearch. It is same way as we used in the regex pattern in Java and all that stuff. It is uh, the same way, the same pattern we are going to use in Elasticsearch as well. If we have something to, uh, you know, capture or to divide the, the token uh, to, you know, break the stream of uh, stream of sentence into the token, we use, we also use this pattern um, analyzer. So it's very simple if you'll go through the regex. If you're very much aware about the regex, then you'll get to know very easily. So by default, in the pattern analyzer, we have this one. The uh, capital W means any non-word character. If it finds, uh, it, if it finds any non-word character, it will break it uh, into the tokens. So non-word character means uh, like this one. I'll show you the result. So just you can see in the response session, we are getting the two quick brown boxes. You can see here I have a dash in between the fox brown boxes. So uh, this will neglect all these special character uh, and these kind of things. So that's how the pattern and by default pattern analyzer works. So we can, uh, so it, as I told you, it accepts the pattern analyzer also accepts some configuration, which I've just, sh just now shown you. These are the configuration of pattern analyzer, stop word, stop path, pattern and lowercase. So we can change the pattern as I've already written a code over here. This is a, 
uh, this code is also uh, you know it's it uh, this code is for custom analyzer but i'll show you over here how it works like we can simply change the pattern uh, instead of capital w you can use small w then it uh, what it will do it will give me the tokens of um, the special character except the word and letter i'll show you right now so the index is created now just check out this index here i have something <clears throat> this this is the text i have and i'm using this pattern analyzer which is a customized analyzer over here and you can see the result is at the rate dash point space and blah 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 like this way means the pattern analyzer if i change the pattern the heart and soul of the pattern analyzer is the way i'm defining the pattern this is where i have to give the pattern now uh, so as you can see uh, this is the custom analyzer of pattern here i'm showing you uh, in the same i'll show you, uh, while covering the custom analyzer i'll show this things i'll show this again as i told you the custom analyzer there is something okay by this is uh, this is already been created that's why it's throwing this error so in the custom analyzer what i told you like my analyzer will accept filter tokenizer and character filter so what i'm using i'm here i am using this tokenizer and in this the type of the tokenizer i'm using is the pattern tokenizer so we uh, as same uh, way we use like analyzer we have standard analyzer keyword analyzer uh, white space analyzer the same way we have everything in the tokenizer as well so while i'll be covering the tokenizer part i will let you know what are all the tokenizer we have in elastic search so right now i just want to cover this part only uh, the analyzer part i'm uh, just define i have just defined here what uh, tokenizer i have been using i have been using the pattern tokenizer and here i am defining the pattern i'm just simply calling this tokenizer and i'm using this now uh, i just i missed one part in the pattern analyzer the uh, by default it is under uh, by default it is a capital w this uh, analyze this things it uh, uh, it will tokenize wherever it find non character things but you can see in this result <clears throat> brown foxes jump over the okay yeah also uh, you can see over here i have just given one ex taken one example and here i'm using uh, that the configuration which i told you in the pattern uh, analyzer is capital w uh, or wherever it finds underscore so i'll tell you one more thing like if suppose if i'm writing like underscore the tokenizer will accept the complete word so what uh, slash capital w will work la, will not consider will not break wherever it finds underscore it will take the complete thing as a uh, single token so it works only on the special character except underscore except underscore and it also work on the white space so this is how it works so suppose here i am taking the example capital uh, wherever it finds capital w this uh, this is symbol of or if you are familiar with the regex this is or or it finds the under underscore and the lower case should be true means it should convert everything into the lower lower case then how the result would be so this is uh, the pattern example i'm using this is the index this this index uh, over here i'm using and i'm checking out whether it works or not so you can see here it is not considering any uh, underscore though it is uh by default it consider the underscore as a single token with underscore the uh, as a single token but here what i have defined so the heart and soul of the pattern tokenizer is the way you define the pattern so you must be uh, you know you should have a idea how to define the patterns or you should have idea of regex if you have not then don't worry i'll take one session on regex as well so the last but not the least the custom analyzer the custom analyzer which accept tokenizer 
character token and filter so uh, these are the parameter in which it accept so uh, i told you i'm using one index for all my queries writing uh, if you have uh, noticed in my previous session i have been using one index and this is what the index i have been using the employee details or detail <clears throat> okay so in this index this is the setting of my index i was using in my previous session so what i used i used a custom analyzer i have given the name my analyzer and i have given the filter as a lower case the, see the type is custom filter means i want the stream of character to be converted into the lower case and then the lower after conversion into the lower case it will send uh, this that stream into the uh, to the tokenizer and the tokenizer will work on that stream so how the flows go flows go like this way first it will see what type of token i uh, analyzer it is if uh, and what parameter it accepts if it accepts the filter it will go to the filter then after filtering the uh, after filtering your uh, data or body then it will send it to the tokenizer and tokenizer here i am using white space why white space because white space is only tokenizer which except which work only on the white space and except at the rate all the special character none other than white space except uh, special character so that's why i have used uh, i'm using over here the white space tokenizer so while i'll be covering the tokenizer part i'll give you the whole complete idea of the tokenizer so here uh, my analyzer part of this setting is completed if you have any doubt please write your question in the comment box and please let me know if you want any further uh, you know videos uh, in the comment section i will try to make a video on that also uh, somebody has asked me to show the to uh, show the visualization and show the dash dashboard as well so okay i will be covering uh, one session by using the dash uh, dashboard and i'll be showing the showing showing you the data how it flows how it look uh, look like so that's all for today's session uh, if you have any doubt please write your question in the comment section thank you for watching uh, please also please subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet thank you